you guys haven't heard yet, we now have Bad Examples merchandise. And we have everything from coffee mugs to picture frames to bottle openers. And now we have hoodies. We're so excited. And we have them for him and for her. So they're super cute. And we did a giveaway on Instagram. And we want to announce the winner here. It's Marissa Rizzo. Congratulations. You are a bad, bad example. Marissa Rizzo 97. Congratulations, baddie. The last thing we want to get to is here's my question for the Jersey Licious episode. I'm a huge fan from South Africa. And the only thing I've ever wanted are those damn disco fries. Oh is there an God. authentic Jersey recipe you can share? You guys, it is not <laughs> a thing. It's literally just French fries. fries. Yeah. Drizzled in mozzarella, melted in an oven. Mm-hmm. Like, and then, yeah, a, so they're like melted, but they're like a little brown and crispy on yeah, top. Yeah, like crisp them up a tiny bit. And then on the side, if that's what you, I don't like it being poured all over the top on the side, which just just found out that gravy is ground up meat. She has no idea that that was a thing. <laughs> you guys, I'm a fucking vegetarian. I've been eating gravy. <laughs> she has no idea. She goes, Oh my God, I just found out that gravy was ground up meat. I'm like, Are you fucking crazy? How did you know? What did you think gravy was? I thought just it was water? just brown like sauce. I don't know. I mean, I guess like ones that like that you like throw together like you know out of a package could part? be. I'm fucking eating cheese fries one day and we're just me and Dennis are staring at each other in silence eating. He just like, you know that that's meat, right? And I was like, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Fuck. What? <laughs> so now I, I do enjoy my cheese fries. Still, I get the gravy on the side for Denny. Um, so you can either drizzle the gravy over the top or put it on the side and dip the French fries in it. But salt, mozzarella, French fries, potatoes, gravy. That is what disco fries is. Spam. Everyone in Jersey ends their night at a diner. At like three in the morning, eating Taylor ham, egg and cheese sandwiches with a side of disco fries. That's what we do here in Jersey. Like in Mar- Maryland, like crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland does. Yeah. Like <laughs> Jersey is Taylor ham and disco fries. Like that's what we do. And the last question of the day, would you ever do a reboot? You could buy my next house and pay for all my kids to go to college. And I still would only film one reunion show uh you heard it here first ladies and gentlemen never. that's a fucking no <laughs> that's a fuck no hard no for me a pass that's a hard pass from tracy it's a no from me you heard it here first live on the jersey licious tell all wow let's sum up what we learned we learned that um not to fuck with tracy <laughs> we learned tracy actually hates Gigi more than she hates olivia yeah seriously no like now i'm a little bit like upset about this shit like because i didn't know they're like you know i don't i didn't know the behind the scenes either no yeah you weren't really on our show like you did like appearances with glam fairy whenever yeah, they were I fucking, on but yeah i came up to you do did some makeup and, like i don't know i watched the drama from afar and loved it oh. but that's crazy yeah no it was intense i mean and it was a very rough like you guys remember when you were 21 years old you were drinking at a bar you weren't professionally on tv doing your job like fighting with people is a very hard intense atmosphere and situation that we are constantly put into just give us all a break yeah (laughs) we pretty much learned that don't believe everything you see on reality quote-unquote tv but when you ask us if our show was real yes it was real to some extent give us a cushion on that because we did we were our authentic selves that's all i have to say Thank you, Tracy. Thank you for spending these last two episodes being honest and real with us. Guys, I fought Jess on doing this. I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to relive all of this again. And she was like, do it. Come on. The fans of the show will love it. And I was like, come on. Why do I know that? I know where this is going to. Like, it's just going to start more questions and we're going to end up having to do a follow up. No, we're not. (laughs) Actually, we actually talked about this. We the only reason that I agreed to do the show is that so we could dedicate this episodes and i'm gonna let jessica take it away but we dedicated these two episodes make me cry again okay so if you guys watch glam fairy you'll know chrisida rodriguez who was a stylist on glam fairy and actually after the show her career blew up you could still look Incredible. at her photos on instagram the most amazing photo dedicated journal you will woman. ever see mm-hmm. this woman did not fuck around like she was first of all she was just talented and naturally like beautiful and stylish but she um, was an amazing businesswoman and literally like did this by herself. She built this huge following by herself and, um, you know, became a, a hero in the Latin community. She's amazing. And um, Chrisida about a year ago was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. And 
um, you know, she fought. She fought. I mean, she shaved her I head and you, she was beautiful. This woman was like an angel walking yeah. in heels, modeling in the middle of the street, like battling cancer. I've never seen such bravery and like mm-hmm. such dedication to what she really loved, which was fashion. Mm-hmm. And she lived out the fashion dream through her funeral. You should, you guys should have seen the most beautiful pamphlets they handed out of her fashion journey, her life on social media, what she became for herself. Like it was just incredible to watch her journey. And I was a huge fan of her blog. And, um, and you know, like Tracy, like she put everything out there. Like she shared from the minute she got sick, she kept up with her fans and she lost her hair. She lost weight and she still put on her clothes and she still looked fierce. She fucking rocked it. She rocked cancer's ass. And even though it may have got the best of her in the end, like it didn't like she still is shining so hard. It's not even funny. Yeah. Her last words, um, you know, she went on Instagram live, um, like 24 hours before she passed and said like, like go out there, live your life. Don't waste time. Like do it. You want something, you want to get it done. Go fucking do it. She didn't say the F word, but you no, know, she was not. A, she, <laughs> she was, was way not more an classy than we were. <laughs> yeah, but she, um, like God, God, I've never seen somebody like rock a sickness so hard. She yeah. was amazing, and I was like, every day she posted pictures on her fashion blog. I was like, wow, she's out yeah. there again. Like, I miss you my want friend. inspiration on yeah. to even on your worst days. Put a little makeup on and dress mm-hmm. your best. Like, look at Chris Ida's page. You will have enough inspiration to last you a lifetime. On your lowest days when you think it's so hard, remember this girl had cancer and she was dressed to the nines mm-hmm. for her own very own runway of life every single day. So, Chris Ida, thank you for being our friend and um, for being funny and making us laugh. And um, this episode is dedicated to you. Yes. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, Uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.